started as what was supposed to be a quiet Monday morning drive going into work turned into a terrifying one for several people who are driving through Fairview. Their cars pelted by rocks, even a cinder block along I-84 and Northeast 223rd. Elisa Balick live in Fairview with what she found out uh, talking with one of those drivers today. Yeah, one of the drivers told me that the sheriff's deputies got here very quickly and were able to track down three people who are accused now of throwing those rocks and cinder blocks off the overpass. I start at 430 in the morning and uh, I go that way every single day. A daily drive in the dark to work turned into terror. There was a loud bang on my windshield and glass kind of sprayed out a little bit and I wasn't sure what I had hit but the, there were still impacts going just like bam, 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 bam. With a hole in the windshield, shattered glass alongside him, Larry James pulled over. So did other drivers as their vehicles were pelted with rocks, crashing onto their roof, their hoods, windshields. I told the officer at first, I was just, when the one hit the window, I was about half concerned that it was a bullet. Even a cinder block hurled from an overpass. Drivers had no idea what was happening. A surprise no one was injured. At least eight vehicles repeatedly hit, some rocks the size of softballs. James told me one driver ran up the embankment and heard people there laughing. A call to 911 quickly brought Multnomah County deputies who set up a perimeter and caught three people, two minors and 19-year-old Philip Andrushin. They're facing charges of criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, and criminal trespass. For the life of me, I don't know why somebody would want to go up there and throw rocks down on innocent people that they don't know. Again, nobody was injured, but police say it was just incredible that nobody was hurt. One thing, though, that sheriff's deputies say is that if you were in this area, again, this was Monday morning. If you were driving through and had damage to your vehicle, wondering how that happened, please give them a call. Live in Fairview, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.